Hello, welcome back to the Leesonville Tech Center. I'm Jonathan Smith, and today I'm going to go over the procedure for changing out brushes on a 4000 series alternator. This procedure will also work for our 2500 series and 2800 series alternators. To do this, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a wire, rather rigid. Um, we got these from Tractor Supply, it's a safety pin fastener. I've used paper clips and new set of brushes. I also recommend that before you start this procedure, you disconnect the batteries on the vehicle. I'm going to take out the four regulator screws. And when the 4000 series was originally designed, it was intended to be used in school bus applications, fire truck, um, emergency vehicles, but as amperage requirements have increased on class 8 trucks with battery to HVAC systems, inverters, um, these have migrated onto those applications and the drawback there is the brush life so this will definitely extend the life of this alternator. With the four regulator screws removed you'll see there are two positive and negative wires hooked to the regulator so we're just going to uh, remove those to get the regulator out of the way. With the regulator out of the way, you have access to the brush holder. So I'm going to remove our old brushes, put back in our new brushes, put them back in the brush holder. And then this is where the wire comes in. There's a small pilot hole here that once you compress the spring for the brush, you put that wire through, it holds the wire down for you. So you get down the first one, which is usually easier. Uh, I got the second one down, and then there's a hole on the other side. You can push the wire all the way through, and it holds the wires down for you. Get some in there. With the brushes back in place, you're going to want to put a little bit of Nigel grease on the brush contacts, and then replace the positive and negative wire onto the regulator. There's a positive and negative on the regulator so you can see where the wires go. With the regulator back in place, I have put in the four screws. I put them in loosely because you want to be able to make sure that you can pull the pin. Then tighten down the screws and you are ready to go. Thank you for watching this technical service video. Please stay tuned for more videos from Prestolite Lease Neville.